Today along the Lake Michigan shoreline, heavy rain and strong winds made for dangerous conditions there. In South Haven, the high waves swallowed the iconic North Pier. We do have team coverage for you up and down the lake shore tonight. We begin with 24-hour News 8's Kyle Mitchell. He's in South Haven tonight. Kyle. So as big as the waves are right now, they were even bigger just a few hours ago. The goal here today, to keep everyone safe. It's pretty windy. Pretty windy today. For kite surfers like Drew Clark, and the waves they make are something he looks forward to. Probably about uh, seven to eight feet. Pretty powerful. While rescue crews like at South Haven Area Emergency Services want people to have fun, they want people to stay safe. Definitely go see them, but see them from afar. Uh, watch them up on the bluffs, watch them from away from the piers. Don't go out on the piers. Uh, stay away from that because it takes a very small amount of water to wash people off the piers. Firefighter and paramedic Jim Quinn says they haven't had to rescue anyone from the water in recent years, and they hope they don't have to if people keep their distance. Just watch your surroundings, watch the water, um, just be conscious of what you're doing. The harbor master says the city brought in large pieces of concrete to try and break up the waves and protect the surrounding infrastructure. But even red flag conditions won't keep kite surfers from a chance to get some air. I'm wore out. I got to go home. I want to stay, but I can't. Of course, Harbor Fest is this weekend, and people coming down here for that event will definitely notice these near record high water levels. Live in South Haven, Kyle Mitchell, 24 Hour News 8. All right, rough one out there, sure definitely. Is. Thank you, Kyle.